Hey everyone, welcome to Small Screen Reactions. My name is Andrew and I'm here to react to South Park Season 6, Episode 8. Very excited to watch this and get right into it, so uh, thank you all for watching and supporting. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and check out Patreon. The link is down below in the description box if you want to watch these episodes fully uncut and way earlier than they show up on YouTube. So go check that out along with Patreon exclusive shows that are only on Patreon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, and without further ado, here we go. Okay, we're at church. Time of year again when the bishops and priests from around the country are organizing the young men's Catholic retreat. Oh no. This year, we're taking a weekend boat trip to discuss Jesus' role as the navigator of our lives. Yes. That sounds pretty Sign fun. me out. No. A Catholic boat no. trip? <laughs> the <laughs> what? Like the love boat? Oh god. Today, the Catholic boat. Yeah. That's what I ima imagine. Oh god. Hot Christian action. Oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Randy. Uh, <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Look, I just don't think it's the best idea to let our boys go on a cruise with. We can't let them go, can we? There's no way my son's going. Good. What are they talking about? I don't know. Maybe they want to kill us. <laughs> what? I think it's best we keep our kids far away from the priest. That, come on, everybody. Agree. Just because it doesn't mean that all priests are child molesters. Well, sure, that's easy for you to say. Your son's dead. Damn. But those of us with the live children need to be sure that Father Maxie is on the wow. up and up. I found bringing in counselors that know how to find things out from kids without oh. really telling them what's going on. <laughs> Not suspicious at all. Uh, goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Hi, boys. My name is Miss Garage, and I need to ask you a few questions about your priest, okay? Okay. 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 Would you say that Father Mac... Okay, what words would you use to describe your church's priest? Compassionate. Okay. Okay. And Father Maxi, at any time, oh. ever try to put something in your butt? Oh. Very discreet there. Did he ever try to put anything in your butt? Like money? What? <laughs> you mean like a goldfish? <laughs> no, no. Never try to put anything that belonged to him in your butt. No. <laughs> Having to sit out here waiting to find out if our priests molested our kids. Yeah, what what does Catholicism come to anyway? You know, I think we mm, um, all the horrible things they've done to kids. I mm, I think I'm gonna become an atheist. That's good a good you. idea. I'm gonna be an atheist too. Let's all be atheists. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, if it was a god. Why would he let our kids be molested in the first place? That's all you don't know yeah, if it's happened yet. But also, yeah. uh, let's wow, going go from here to there real fast. Same thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. What would the priest possibly want to <laughs> Oh God. Maybe. Nah. <laughs> Maybe. Nah. Hey, hey, what are you guys doing? We have to go meet in your butt. Yeah, isn't that the damnedest thing? Why would he put anything in your butt? We don't know. That's what we're trying to figure out. Hmm. 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 Hello there, children. Chef, what would a priest want to stick up my butt? Oh God. Goodbye. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah. Nobody's going to tell us. This is going to drive me insane. Calm down. You already that insane. That's a rational explanation. Ah, oh, dude, I think I might have it. What? It makes perfect sense. Okay, Does play it? with me on this. What are you? Oh god. You crap out your butt, right? Yeah. Where are you right, going keep with this? Here. It gets a little comedy. If you eat food and crap out your butt, yeah. Then maybe if you stuck food in your butt, you would crap out your mouth. What? Hmm? Common. Common. Carmen, that's the dumbest thing you've ever so said. So dumb. This week. Well, that's not dumb. This Think week, about it. Yeah. Food goes in the mouth, food goes in the butt, comes out the mouth. That's not dumb. That's genius. No. It wouldn't work. No. Have you ever tried it? I don't need to. It wouldn't work. I'll bet you 20 bucks it'll work. You're on, fat boy. Okay, okay. shut up your ass, Carmen. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Dan, you're an atheist now. You too, Tweet. Okay. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm a what? <laughs> Fathers, I want to thank. Well, I don't know how it's been for all of you, but attendance at my church in Fort Rollins is down 63%. So I'm down almost 70 in green. Yes, we've got to stop these boys from going to the public. They've got to know to keep their mouths shut. That's right. Right. right, and so, 
Well, wait yeah. a minute, what? You, I think you guys are talking about different things. Why these children are suddenly finding it necessary to report that they're being molested? Stop the problem at its source. Uh, no, the problem at the source is stopping the priests from doing not it. Whoa, stop. whoa, hold on a second. The problem is that children are being molested, not that they're reporting it. Yeah. Okay, so we have How one good priest. Mean? Oh my well, god. I mean, obviously what we need to put a stop is all the sexual misconduct that is allowed to take place in our churches. Yes. Not just tell the children not to tell anybody about exactly. it. Exactly. Well, did any of the children you've molested come forward? No. Whoa. Well, that's good. No, oh. I mean, I never molested any of the children in my church. Okay, good for you. Mother Maxie, we're all priests here. The doors are closed. No, oh, no. For the love of God. Are you all, all of saying them? that you've engaged in relations with your altar boys? That's we are here what? to bring the light of God, not harm the innocent. Fuck you all, except for the, the main guy in the middle. He's the only decent priest, I guess. Father, having sex with boys is part of the Catholic priest. No, it's not. Dear God. Yeah. This problem is much more severe than I could have. <laughs> you think? To go to the Vatican and get help. Good luck. <laughs> it's not working. Well, Cartman, hold on. God, let a man crack. Uh, What's this going is on? Stupid. Carmen shoved food up his ass and now he's trying to crap out his mouth. Oh. <laughs> oh. Walk away. Well, go on, smart ass, and do it. <laughs> I'm doing it, I can't, I can't do it with you guys watching. Turn around. No, because you'll just crap out your button and say it came out your mouth. Yeah. Uh, you really think I'd be that deceitful, you guys? Yes. God damn it. <laughs> oh. 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 Get the f out of here. Fuck. Yes! Yes, I did! You're the most his oh, don't you want to brush your teeth? I cut that my bad! You owe me 20 bucks, dick face! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm actually here! Vatican City! Wow. Your oh, Holiness, this is Father Maxi from America. He has brought this all to our attention. Your Holiness. The Echo. Okay. Adoramus Definitely not the kid. If things continue this way, we'll never be able to have sex with young boys again. Oh my god. Oh lord. That's right. Wait, no, what? No. <laughs> Max, you really thought it'd be better here? In order to make love to our boys. In Morocco, they have arrested five of my priests. It's Good. only a matter of time before they get the rest of us. No. Father Max, Good. what do you say to not get caught? Not get caught? No! I, I think what people. we should do is not Insane. have sex with boys! <laughs> it is not written any with the Vatican law that sex with the boys is wrong. Well, maybe we need to change the holy document yeah, you of the Vatican think? law. <laughs> Speaking it's like chickens. The holy document of Vatican law cannot be changed! <laughs> Yes, and speaking what, of who the hell? Aliens? Catholics, I believe we should move on to other solutions to this problem. <laughs> the aliens in the... What? Galgamax? <laughs> uh, could you help me out? I need some advice. What? It's just that I can't decide what to buy with your $20. Oh my god, Carmen. Razor for 1995, or I could get two Broncos training packs for 10 apiece. And then I thought... Fair, yeah. <laughs> oh boy, now that we're atheists, we don't have to pray for our food. That's right, everyone just dig in. There you go. So, kids, anything fun happened with your whole Sunday off? Uh, Carmen shoved his lunch up his ass and crapped out his mouth. Stamp! <laughs> what, he did? He no, did. It doesn't work that way, son. Yet it somehow did. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. <laughs> oh what? god. Oh god. Ew, ew, ew. Oh, it's so gross. Oh. Honey, mm. honey, come quick. I need like a mint after this. What exactly do you suggest we change, Father Maxi? Well, for one, no sex with boys. Amen. Ah! Not that complicated. Get rid of that and you'll be much better off. The holy document of Vatican law states oh. that a priest, bishop, or cardinal cannot get married. So where are we to get our sex? Well, they're... With not little boys. It's okay for a priest or bishop or cardinal to have sex with women. What? Sex with women? Awful. Sex with children? Regina what? Is three feet wide and filled with razor sharp teeth. What? Do you really expect us to have sex with them? Well. Okay. 
maybe a little different for you. Forget about the Gilgamesh for a second. <laughs> Forget about the Gilgamesh! <laughs> <laughs> What works on planet Gilgamesh isn't necessarily going to work Fair. for the rest of us here yes. on Earth. That's the problem we're having here. But the holy document of Vatican law cannot be changed. Why not? Yeah. Because we don't know where it is. What? You see, Father, the holy document of Vatican law has been hidden away deep in the country. So how do you know what's on it? Good luck, Father. The document is guarded by water lizards, rattlesnakes, and sand traps. The fools who tried before mm -hmm. to recover it... This must be some Indiana Jones or like Da Vinci Code shit. Darn. You guys, you guys, look! <laughs> I went down to the bank and I got Kyle's twenty dollar bill turned into twenty single dollar bills. Lord. So, so, so now I can do this. Oh my. Yay! You? Yes, Kyle. Call money. Mm, <laughs> money. Oh, it feels so good on my skin. Mm. Get up, fat boy! I'm gonna kick your ass. Jeez, Kyle, don't be a sore loser. It's mm -hmm. over, okay? I won. Let it go. So you crap out of your mouth. Good, still stupid and immature. Dude, look. Our top story tonight. The age-old question has been oh, answered. Oh, no. If I put food up my ass, will I crap out my mouth? The, the age-old? And the, uh, the immediate research shows that the act is not only amusing, but in fact much healthier for our bodies what? than the old way of eating. You see, How? food entering through the benefit of being broken down on its way to the stomach rather than afterward. And therefore, what? I believe that interrogation would actually put a stop to high cholesterol what? and most kinds of stomach cancers. Why? And I based that on absolutely nothing. The <laughs> response has made Americans change their eating habits. Is eat in our asses now? Stupid and immature, cat mate. It is stupid and immature. So you got people to crap out of their mouths. What do you want, a freaking medal? Ooh. The mass South Park has announced that discovering this healthy way of eating, young citizen air cartman oh, will be given a freaking medal. Oh my god. <laughs> benefits of intro-rectogestion, and so making foods that can easily be inserted into the ass is essential. Now everyone- Oh, soups, oh god. Up the ass, puddings, soups, raisins. Oh. It's a nice raisin pudding right here. But we can also still eat our favorite foods. What we're gonna do today is prepare a Thanksgiving turkey for intro-rectogestion. Why is it white? Now, the key to shoving a turkey up your ass is first wrapping it in string, keeping the pointy wings neatly at the side. <laughs> Mrs. Stewart, uh, we have some questions. Not right now. Uh... Now we're going to baste the turkey with lubricating gel. Oh. Juice. This will help. We still bake at 400 degrees for 20 minutes a pound. What when the it's fuck? done, we'll get something like this. So now we're ready to go. Looks delicious. Let's try it out. Oh, God. Oh. 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 But you. Oh. Yeah, get it up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, 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 and that is how you eat a turkey. We'll be right back with more. What the? Bagel! Oh, God. Uh, I have to try. Our religion is in trouble, and, and that scroll may be our only hope. Then prepare yourself. The time of trials begins. Oh, okay. I hope that you have. Very well. Here we go. <laughs> Good job. Uh oh. Nice. Oh, good job, Maxi. Hmm, there's a ladder up here. Uh oh. Oh my God, a rattlesnake! <laughs> ah, I made it! Praise be to God, He hath shown me the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's true. I mean, what do a bunch of stories about people in robes slaughtering goats have to do with today's world? Atheism is definitely made. I made some quesadillas if anybody wants some. Oh, Ooh. love a and quesadilla. If anybody needs a potty, there's a potty basket right here. Oh, oh thanks, Shannon. Okay. You know, for Martha and I, I mean, oh, thank you. I mean, it could end up being very difficult raising an atheist child oh, in such God. a Christian society. I feel like everywhere my poor son goes, he's being persecuted for his beliefs. Oh, God. That's true. If I, that could really damage him. Under God should be taken out of the. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, oh. Under God. You can still use the bathroom, you know. The religious right in this country is trying to force our children to believe what they. Mm. And we can't let the religious right corrupt. Oh. How did he make it past the water lizard? <laughs> yes, I have returned with the holy document of Vatican law. What's it so say? So can we please. The Pope says we shall ask the highest source. Oh. 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 We're gonna see God again. 
the Holy One. Behold, the great what? Queen Spider. Oh, um, what? Queen Spider. The Queen the what? Queen Spider? Queen Spider, we seek your guidance. What do you ask of me? What the great fuck? Queen Spider, we I hate spiders. Oops. The Vatican rules cannot be changed, so saith the spider. Go on, Priest Maxi. See if you can convince her. Since what? when do we follow- since Catholics follow a spider? You people have completely lost touch with the yeah. outside world! You said what being a Catholic is all about! But the holy document of Vatican law states that- To hell with the holy document of Vatican oh. law! <gasps> He's destroying the Vatican here. Oh my gosh. You guys, you guys! I took out twenty dollars down to the bank again, and I got it changed into quarters. Oh my so, god! So now I can dump them into this little pool and swim in them. All you have issues, Cartman. Hey, Cartman. Who <laughs> was that guy? You were totally one hundred percent right. <laughs> He's taking the funnel way out of it. Sorry about being able to crap out your mouth, and I've just been frustrated because I didn't think of it first. I want you to enjoy that money because you really impressed me with your insight, and, and I'm proud He's to have you as a friend. Perfect. Great news, Stan. The Vatican is burning down. Score one for us atheists. Come on, Tweet. <laughs> we're gonna go watch on TV. Okay. Yeah. Gone. It's all gone. Well, thanks a lot, Father well, Maxi. Law dead priests. No, I didn't. All that's dead are your stupid laws and rules. Mm. You Catholic is all about this book. You see. These are just stories. Stories that are meant yeah, to help the stories God. aren't guideline, tell you what to do. Love your neighbor. Be a good person. That's it. And when you start turning the stories into literal translations of hierarchies <laughs> yeah. and power, well, well, you end up with this. You end up with tons of bullshit and a giant queen spider. Faith because they don't see how what you've turned the religion into applies to them. They've lost touch with any idea of any kind of religion, and when they have no mythology to try and live their life by, he's telling some truths here. A bunch of crap out of their mouths. Uh -huh. Just stories to help us live by. We shouldn't toss away the lessons of the Bible just because some assholes in Italy screwed it up. Oh, Randy, I don't want to put food up my butt anymore. <laughs> Please don't. Oh God, an apology. Does this mean we have to go to church on Sundays again? No. It means we get to, son. Oh Lord. It means we get to. Uh, ew. Ew. Both a very insightful episode and an utterly gross episode all at once. South Park. South Park, like, truly amazes me sometimes how they're able to have, like, an insightful discussion about religion, Catholicism, and also have a whole episode about eating in your ass and pooping out your mouth. <laughs> That's gonna, ugh, that's gonna be in my mind a while. That part. But the discussion about Catholicism, all that, and him going to the uh, Pope and Vatican City, and it's gone all touch. Yeah, I'm not really religious. I'm not a real religious person. I would say I'm more spiritual, not religious. I don't know. I don't know if any religion is like 100% accurate. It's like, ah, uh, the good place. If you ever saw that, they were like, how many religions were like partially correct? And all together, they all kind of were correct, if you combine a little bit from each. I believe, like, maybe it's something like that. There could be nothing. I have no knowledge of what it could be, so I'm not going to just follow someone around for it. But if you want to, that's your choice. I don't blame anyone for it, unless you're covering up, like, uh, priests molesting children. That's when it crosses the line. That's, like, religion shouldn't be dangerous to anyone, to people in the religion or outside the religion. That's when it crosses the line. No danger. If you want to believe something, that's fine. Don't force down other people's throat and hurt people because they don't believe the same thing. Just my thoughts. All right, very weird, very fun. Oh, God, I thought I thought I heard something. It's weird. Okay, I don't hear it now. I'm just losing my mind. That's it. That's what happens when I watch a little South Park. <laughs> okay. I want to thank you guys for watching so much. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, check out Patreon, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.